greetings of the day going kids i hope all of you are fine so going kids today we will learn about strong adjectives and weak adjectives please everyone open your books and turn to page number 90 of prime english students if i will say i am happy that means i can be less happy i can be very happy but if i will say i am thrilled it means i am very happy so thrilled is the word that is replacing very happy or if i will say the thieves were tired it can mean the thieves were less tired the thieves were more tired but if i will say the thieves were exhausted it means the thieves were very tired they were extremely tired so students exhausted is a word that is replacing very tired so exhausted is a strong adjective therefore we can say strong adjectives are those words that describe something or tell the quality of something in its highest degree we can use the words absolutely completely or utterly with strong adjectives students let's just do the exercise to understand this further so fill in the blanks with the strong form of the adjectives given in the brackets the painting was a strong form of the adjective bad is terrible so we can say the painting was terrible i was famished or i was starving smriti was thrilled to meet her cousins now students we have another exercise here in which the stronger form of the adjectives are given and we have to use the weaker form of it the first one is natasha looked gorgeous in the wedding dress we can say natasha looked pretty in the wedding dress it is boiling outside boiling is a stronger adjective and the weaker one is it is hot outside i feel terrible at your loss we can say i feel bad at your loss so students you can try the rest parts and see if you can do it that's all about the strong and weak adjectives and how we can replace the weaker adjectives very plus a normal adjective with one word that will be the strong adjective that's all for now students thank you so much